God really said that homosexuality is a sin? Come on. We know now that you're born that way. Hiss. The serpent, the Satan. You see, here's the thing. People say, well, Brett, I think people are born that way. And I agree. I'll give you that one if you want. I was born a sinner too. And so were you. And some of us have propensities to sin. We all do. And some of you are more into, say, like uh, things like being angry. Some of you are angry people. And you are born that way. You just are, your, your genetic makeup, you're just an angry person. I know who you are. Some of you guys, I've met you. <laughs> but here's the thing. You don't say, well, I'm just that way, so I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to be angry. I'm going to beat my wife, and I'm going to beat my kids, and I'm going to go to jail, and it'll be awesome. You don't do that because we don't celebrate that kind of diversity. We really don't. We put those people in jail. The point that I'm saying is, yeah, there's a lot of things that are sinful that we do, and and Satan will say, come on, it's okay, it's all right. It's interesting when it comes to morality, the Bible spells it out very nicely for us, what's right and what's wrong. Now in a world of no absolutes and relativism is rampant, and so people are saying, hey, you know, we, we can do whatever we think is right and moral in our own eyes, in our own sight, but the problem with that is a moving target. Isn't it interesting, uh, the gay issue and, and, and gay marriage and stuff, how, you know, we're going into this bold new world of sexual openness and marriage and all that stuff, but I have a hunch in a few years, it's gonna be a real mess, and I'll tell you why. Because if we can move the target and say, hey, gay marriage is okay, and we should, we should, we should accept that and, and embrace gay marriage, even though the Bible says no, we're gonna embrace that. What in the world's stopping us from anything else? Like polygamy, for example. What's wrong with polygamy? If you, if you think there's nothing wrong with gay marriage, then who are you to say that polygamy is wrong? Why can't, here's what they say about gay people. If people love each other, you should let them love each other. Then why don't we do that with polygamy? Just let people have multiple wives and it'll be great. We can do all that crazy stuff. Well, Brett, I happen to think that the Bible says that polygamy is okay because all those kings of the Old Testament had multiple wives. <laughs> That's dumb. (laughs) God never condoned polygamy, never. He actually told the kings, do not multiply yourselves wives. And what did Solomon do? Well, he got 700 of them. And 700 (laughs) mother-in-laws. That's an interesting idea right there, is it? Hmm. And 300 concubines. And because of that, Solomon was a wreck. He was a wreck. The point that I'm making is we could go on and on talking about going from, you know, gay marriage to polygamy to what's wrong with, you know, uh, you know, things like pedophilia. That's what they're saying. That's what they're asking right now. You, you, you can see it. It's coming. There's all groups, huge organizations that have lots of money and power that are trying to say, you know, gay, uh, not just gay sex, but male sex with uh, young male boys they're talking about. That should be normalized what's happening. Why? Because Satan is the deceiver and he's he's doing this very same thing. He's disputing God's word. Does the Bible really say anything about homosexuality? Uh, Yeah, six times very clearly in the Bible does it say that God's against it and it's called sin in the Bible. But they say, nah, we we know more than the Bible. So see, that's, that's Satan's oldest trick in the book. I'm not trying to be against gay people. We're all sinners. We've all messed up. Uh, And I'm sure people will be angry about what I say and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, you know what? I I like what has worked for thousands of years in our area of morality. I really like it. And I believe we're in this brave new world of sexual revolution. I think we're going to find some real problems coming around the corner. We already have seen it, but it's going to be worse. Why? Because Satan's into destroying and messing people's lives up.